Welcome back. This back to school season, a Sugarland woman is on a mission to help those in need one step at a time. I love this story. Many families have trouble covering even the basics like shoes. Stacey Bourgeois, CEO and founder of Soul Loved, joins us now with details on how we can all help. Stacy, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, tell us your story about Soul Loved. I know that you started in 2013. Where did it all begin? Well, so we actually started on the streets of Houston. Um, many years ago, we, several of us would go out on the streets and we would bring shoes to the homeless along with a few other things, but um, learned really quickly that there's a lot of homeless individuals out there walking around barefoot or in flip-flops or just with socks on their feet and realized that they need shoes to be safe. And I understand that on one of these very first uh, trips out, when your eyes were really open, you met a woman uh, who was barefoot. And what happened then? Right. So on one of our outings to deliver things, um, various items to the homeless, including shoes, we were packing up one night to go home and looked down the alley and there was a young girl walking towards us. And I noticed immediately that she was barefoot and asked her, where her shoes were. She actually came to us looking for water, food, asking if we had anything to give her. And um, we didn't, you know, we had given everything out that night and she said that she didn't have shoes. She had just left. She was new to the streets and only had with her the things that were in her um, small bag. So I, after a few minutes, we decided, we came to the conclusion that we both wore about the same size shoe. So I said, well, I'm just gonna take my shoes off and why don't you try these on? And she was pretty insistent at first, didn't want to do that, didn't wanna take my shoes from me. And so I said, well, how about this? If they fit, then you can have them. And if they don't, then I'll take them back. And so she agreed to that and she tried them on. And immediately when she put them on, I knew they fit. She had a big smile on her face and a few tears in her eyes as well, but her whole posture changed and, um, she said they fit, and so I just hugged her, and I said, look, you know, you're gonna be on the streets tonight, I don't want you barefoot, you've gotta put these shoes on, and um, she took them, and we hugged, and you know, I, I knew right then that I needed to make that my mission. Um, like I said, there are a lot, a lot of homeless people uh, in Houston, many of them do not have shoes uh, at all, and so I told my husband that night, on the way home, I said, you know what, we're gonna just start bringing shoes out here to him, out to these homeless um, men and women on the street that um, that they just can't be barefoot. So that's what we did. And it's it sounds so simple, but yet it was so touching. And and between that that moment between the two of you, and really your mission has now grown. You work with schools, you work with teachers and nurses to find out who needs these shoes. And and talk to us about that because um, the, the the need is very wide as well for children. That's right. It's I had I really had no idea that there was such a need with children in schools. Um, we are based. We live in Sugarland, so we are based out of Sugarland, Fort Bend County. And shortly after that night, that was in 2016. So shortly after that night, I um, was introduced to a social worker in our school district, who had asked if we had ever gotten children's shoes donated before, which we had not. So she quickly told me about the need in their school district and asked if we could possibly get some shoes together for their back to school event just in a few short months. So we scrambled, you know, we weren't even a 501c3 at that time, but we scrambled together, me and a few of the girls in, um, in Soul Loved. And after some fundraisers and um, shoe drives, we're able to get enough shoes together to put on hundreds of children's feet at that event. and. I'll tell you that event for me was the eye opener um, because just as exactly like when the when I met the homeless girl and we put the shoes on her feet and she was so excited that's the same response you get with these kids um, there's just such a huge need um, so at that moment we just said okay maybe our shift our focus needs to shift to schools low income schools title one schools in our area and started reaching out to nurses, social workers, teachers, just to get the word out, to let them know, hey, we're here. If you have children and students in your class that are in need, please reach out to us. And it's it's really just grown from there. So it's not really just our school district anymore. It's not 
just Fort Bend County, even though that's where our primary focus is because that's where we live. It's now reached, you know, we've been into HISD schools, Humble, Kingwood, Needville, um, Lamar Consolidated, so it's really grown. And Stacy, we are out of time, but we do want to put some information up on the screen. Our viewers okay. can see you guys are doing a drive, so if anyone out there wants to get involved, you can drop off new shoes Sunday starting at 9 a.m. until noon right there at the Greatwood Recreation Center, 7225 Greatwood Parkway in Sugarland. You can also visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, if you would like to be connected to the cause to make a, a financial donation, because I understand $20 can buy a pair of shoes for a child. So Stacy Bourgeois, Soul Love CEO and founder. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thanks for being thank with us, so Stacy. And still really ahead, we are continuing the inspiration of family of God.